now that we've gotten everything all unboxed, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my new iMac and the apps that I've decided to put on it that'll help me with programming. Now the first thing that I decided to do was to go ahead and change the background. And as always, the iMac comes with a lot of super cool dynamic um, and basic backgrounds. Now as beautiful as these backgrounds were, I didn't end up finding anything that I really wanted as my background, so I decided to go to Canva and find something there. So if you're not familiar with Canva, this is basically a website that has a lot of different graphics and things that you can choose from and integrate into your videos, um, your computer lifestyle, things like that. So I'm just looking through a couple of these that I find interesting and um, I'm gonna check them out. Ultimately, the ones with like little photos in them and stuff I thought were super cute, but I didn't feel like looking through my photos to replace the, the little photo bits. Um, so I ended up choosing this really cute neutral beige calendar organizational. And now that that's all downloaded, I am going to go to this new app that my professor actually told me about called Rectangle. And it's basically a app that allows you to have multiple screens showing um, and, and being able to interact with them all at one time. So you don't have to actually have so many monitors. And this is kind of just what Rectangle looks like. You can see that I'm working on um, Scene Builder and I've got an IntelliJ project open, Stack Overflow, uh, trying to check some stuff out. And you can see here that I can move stuff around pretty easily and then it'll snap it back to where it needs to go. And while I'm doing all that, since it was Halloween when I recorded this, I was also watching Hocus Pocus at the same time which you can't see because Disney has edited it out. But uh, yeah, that is what Rectangle looks like. Now we're going to actually put in an IntelliJ since I <laughs> filmed these out of order, but now we're getting IntelliJ, which is an IDE. Um, and that means it's a thing where you can code stuff. It's essentially like a notepad, but that is made for coding specifically. I use it for Java. Um, I think you can also use it for C++. Uh, there's also Eclipse, which is another IDE, and uh, there are so many other ones that you can choose, but I prefer to use IntelliJ because we do get a free, um, like the Enterprise Edition with my school. So you don't have to use the Community Edition. If you're a student, you can get a free version of the, the Pro Edition, essentially. Now we're downloading Android Studio, which is another IDE, and that is for building Android programs. Um, and those are things that run on smartphones like Samsung, Galaxies, and all the, essentially like 90% of the world uses an Android. Just the majority of America, I guess, uses Apple. And I'm so hardcore Apple, but I go to school for Java, so I need to make sure that I can program in Java for mobile. And now we're also downloading another one of my favorite IDEs called Atom, and this is for coding things on web, like in JavaScript and CSS and HTML. Um, that's what I use this for. And once we open this, we're actually going to put in a little bit of a hack here, and it's called Beautify, and it's essentially just something that'll clean up your code, make it look a little bit prettier and um, more readable. So I highly recommend that you um, install Beautify if you get Atom. Last, we're going to put in our Adobe applications and a lot of people have moved to Canva from Adobe, but I personally, because I did photography and things like that, I personally still really enjoy using Photoshop just because of um, the high level of manipulation that I can input in it. And with Canva, there's a lot of stuff that you can do, but if you really want to kind of alter the perception of your pictures, Adobe is still a really, really great option. And also, if you want to get into Adobe and you're kind of like put off by the price tag, because I think it's like $30 a month, um, they do have a student option, which is about $10 cheaper, I think. I think it's $20 a month. And depending on which package you choose, you get a myriad of their projects. It's not just Photoshop. You get, you know, you can see here that I have the option to download so many other Adobe products as well, and I usually do. However, um, just to kind of keep this computer a little bit cleaner, I am only choosing to download a couple of them. 
We are also gonna now go to Zoom and add Zoom uh, onto this Mac. And just so you know, with the new Apple, the new iMac 24 with the M1 chip, they did do a major overhaul on FaceTime. So FaceTime is now designed to be essentially a direct competitor to Zoom. You can call Samsung phones, you can call any Android phone from FaceTime. So it's like, uh, all encompassing at this point and they've also added a couple of filters and like different things to this program so I do I still want zoom because most people use zoom um, we've all been using zoom for the past year but FaceTime has now had a major overhaul so it can be a direct competitor the last thing that I did was I upgraded to Mac OS Monterey, which is where they do this FaceTime upgrade. And it also has a whole bunch of other upgrades. You can kind of go directly to the Apple website and look it up, but I'm just gonna give you guys an overview here of kind of what it shows. I will say the camera is amazing. I am recording my audio on the microphone that is just built into the computer right now. So this is what it sounds like. Um, additionally, Let's see, graphics wise, it's a beautiful computer. Uh, as I'm looking and editing this, it does look like things are like kind of glitchy while I'm on Premiere Pro looking at it, but in actual person, it's beautiful. They're, it's seamless. The colors are amazing. Um, I think that's about it. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, all the things. Let's be friends on IG if you're into that. And other than that, I guess I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.